There are three features I want to go over with you on how to organize your files within a folder. Let's face it, if you just have a few files, there's not much to organize, so these probably won't mean much, but you have the three options of filtering, sorting, and grouping. First of all, filtering. It's one way to show only like files within a folder. So of all these files, I just want to see all my JPEGs or my documents instead of having to go through hundreds or thousands to filter and just see my JPEGs or images. First of all, you have to be in the details view, which is the default view for Windows 7. But if you're not in that view, or if you want to find out you're in the view, then come up here on the command bar, that little arrow says more options when you hover over it. Click on it and go down and select details. You'll know that when you're in the details view, because up at the top you get these column headers for your files, the date the files are modified, and let me come up here and double click on the header bar of the folder to maximize the window. You get the type of files that they are, JPEGs. So again, if I want to be able to filter by type and just show like files, come up here and hover over the column header. You get the drop down arrow, click on it, and just check the ones that you want to see, JPEGs all the images over here, which is nice because it hides everything else. So if I had thousands of files, they're all hidden and I just see the three. And I don't have to scroll through all of them to be able to just see the uh, images or the JPEG files. Of course, uncheck it and it brings it back. There's documents. Let me click off in a blank area. So I just see the documents and I can go ahead and double click on any document here. It opens it up, do my work, make the changes, close out. And how do I go back and reveal all the original files that are now hidden within my exercises folder. I can do it one of two ways. First of all, you see up here the column header is checked. That means that the files are being filtered by this column type. Click on the drop down arrow and you can see it's checked. So it means something's checked here or something's being filtered. I can go ahead and uncheck it or just close out and double click, open it back up and it resets everything. And don't forget you can filter by other headers. Just hover over them and click on the drop down arrow. You can filter by the first letter in all the file names, A through H's, date modified. You can select a date range, click and drag the last time that somebody modified a document and the size and so on, because you can actually bring up more column headers just with the right click. You can see you got some here, but you can click on more. Go ahead and check it. Click okie dokie and there's album. Of course, I don't want it. I'll right click on it and uncheck it. Now, if you don't want to filter, but you want to be able to sort, in other words, by default, the files within a folder are sorted by name, ascendingly, A to Z. So if you know that you have thousands of files within a folder and the file name is somewhere in the S's, instead of having to scroll over and keep scrolling to get to the S's, just go ahead and flip it. Come up here on the column header. Of course, you have to be in the details view. It's sorting ascending. When I click on it, the arrow turns down and it's now descending. So all the files that ended towards the end of the alphabet, instead of being over to the far right of the folder, are now sorted and they're at the beginning here. So I can go from the Z's all the way down to A's. So I can just do that with a simple click. Two other ways that you can go ahead and sort if you're not in the details view. So if you come up here, click on the arrow and go to the list view, you can find a blank area here and right click and there's the sort by option. Again, it's ascending by name. Let's do descending. Now it's from the T's down to the A's. You can also temporarily hit the Alt key on the keyboard, bring up the menu, click on View, and go down to Sort By. Click off in a blank area. And then finally, if you want to be able to group similar files or like files together, like all my images in one section, my documents in another, my Excel in another, you can do grouping one of two ways. You can either find a blank area and right click because it's here in the menu, group by. Come over here and group by type. And there we go. All the folders are together, all the JPEG or images, files, documents, and so on. Or you can temporarily hit the Alt key on the keyboard. And again, up in the view menu, down to group by and group it by, I don't know, size. And it looks like we got the sizes of 1 to 16 megabytes, 1,000 kilobytes to 1 megabyte, and so on. When I'm done and I want to ungroup this or Restore it back to normal here. You can right click in a blank area, go down to group by and say don't group it by anything, select none. And then of course right click to sort so I can sort it by name. And it looks like it's doing it ascendingly, but of course I can right click, go to sort by, and there it is ascending A to Z. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.